We're here for opening day of Disney's Epcot Food and Wine Festival 2021. Let's see. When you're watching the theme park foodies, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And we're here for the opening day of the first festival we've ever attended, but didn't eat anything at the first time we were here. <laughs> that was like five years ago. Yeah, no, it was our first time ever at Disney together we as a couple. Had, we knew food and wine was going on, but we didn't yeah. know what it entailed. Yeah, no. So uh, we Luckily came here and we, we ended up eating at Nine Dragons, which is like considered the worst <laughs> restaurant at Disney. Luckily we've learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. Since then. And we have been at Food and Wine multiple times after that. Uh, actually, we were for, here for the 2020 Taste of Food and Wine. Uh, we have videos on that if you want to check yeah, those so out. Last year when the parks reopened during the pandemic, they started with Food and Wine, which was like a surprise to everyone. Because yeah. Normally it's like a bowl thing. Yeah. And yeah. I guess they're keeping with that. Yeah. Well, it's July 15th, it's hot, and we got here about an hour and a half early. We're not even allowed up to the security checkpoint yet. Uh, they have it like roped off. We came in, uh, we're saying at the International Gateway because we want to try to get in a little bit quicker than the crowds there at the front. Um, this is also the, the place to get into if uh, you're taking the Skyliner or if you're staying at one of the Epcot area resorts. Um, so yeah, we'll let you know how our day goes. We're going to try some things out. There's 30 booths. Yes. Not all of them are open. Some of them are opening um, October 15th. We'll just like put all that information somewhere. Somewhere, on the where? Here. Somewhere on the Maybe studio. on my face. Maybe next to my face. <laughs> oh no, let's There's put it new somewhere booths, on it. Yeah. Noodle exchange. We'll, we'll see what boots are coming soon if we pass by them. Uh, we'll see which ones are open. And we're going to do this in two parts because there's just so many booths and so many things to try. So today we'll be eating uh, from the Canada Pavilion to about the Morocco Pavilion. Maybe we'll try Italy. Um, but yeah, we're going to do... I'm super impressed with Italy though. Yeah, well, we're definitely going to try at least one thing from Italy in one of the videos. Um, but we're definitely going to go from Canada straight down to almost half of World Showcase. And join us for the first day of Epcot. Yes, food one. Like we said, we're here an hour and a half early. The, they're just testing the Skyliner line right now. And you can see security is ready for the crowds. And they have us roped off. The great thing about the International Gateway entrance for festivals is that it lets you out right in World Showcase, which is where most of the festival happenings will be, uh, which is why we actually picked this entrance to try to get in there. We're also staying at Pop's entrance, so we could use uh, the Skyliner as well, although you may get here a little bit later. We wanted to be super early, so we want to be able to run. And some usually of the Pop's entry in the morning, the Skyliner lines are intense, and we didn't want to yes. like, we don't want to deal with another like, yes. obstacle today. Yeah, so we. <laughs> All right, they're right, letting us in. Let's get welcome to Epcot! Woo! All right, we're in, Sam. We're in. They're bringing us to Canada. So our goal was to wait near this bridge that brings you to France, because France usually gets pretty packed. But I guess we'll chill in the UK. And yeah, I mean, it's nice to chill in World Showcase half hour before it opens, right? All right, so Appleseed Orchard is new for this year. It looks like it could be here, or there's this also a sign be behind there. This used the World Showcase building. Remember the apple pie drink? Yes, yes. And this also used to be where Canada Far and Wide was, I believe. So, all right, uh, we're going to start with this. We're a fan of indoor eating. Well, we've been waiting outside for <laughs> a little bit, so we need a, a little break from the heat. This walkway is really cool. We've never been back here before, actually. Wow, yeah. Oh, wow. You can see the apples, Sam, in the apple orchard. And here is uh, the entrance. A whole new sign. You can see the new tables. All right, we just got into Appleseed Orchard, and uh, this whole panoramic type of view is new for this year. They have been in the Canada far and wide area before, but um, they... Uh, we're in World Showplace, I believe, last year. So they're back here again, and we're gonna get a few items. And Sam's about to try the apple, apple crumb, crumb tart. tart. Crumble, I think it is. Ah, uh, yes, apple crumble. It's a little warm still, and it smells amazing. 
And the whole apple seed orchard is such a nice vibe and cool and comfortable. Yeah. I wish the whole festival would took place inside of there. <laughs> Mm. I don't think they have World Show Place this year, too, so yeah. that might be the only, the only cool spots. This is delicious. The, um, the cinnamon crumble is really good. It's still warm. I actually like this better than the apple pie that we had at Dollywood. Remember? Oh, wow. Yeah, well... We had this giant slice of this, like... That was crumble. a novelty, like it, I said. Yeah, for me, that was a six, that apple pie. This is... One out of ten. This is a nice breakfast. Um, I would give this an eight. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna pick it up. Yeah, I'm neater than you are. I'm so happy we started with this because I feel like that's like a nice breakfast item. It tastes like a breakfast item. Oh, wow. The crumbs are really good. Yeah. And I like that it's still warm. Although for me, the apple, oh, that's good. It's really good. It could be cooked a little more. Still good. I'll give it a seven. Good. All right, this is one of Sam's favorites from last year. The frozen apple pie. It's not alcohol. It's already melting because of how uh, hot it is. I feel outside. like those are the same crumbs that were on top mm -hmm. of the tart. I like this drink. I think it's refreshing. Mmm. It is. There's some apple there at the bottom. And they also it. had a cinnamon apple cider. Mmm. I also give this a seven. Good. Nice. All right, so we went to the Canada booth and got the cheddar cheese with bacon soup. It also comes with a pretzel bun. The pretzel buns aren't really warm or super fresh, but the soup is a highlight of every festival. We decided that we've had had the uh, have had the filet mignon before, and we feel like it's hit or miss every single year. So we didn't get it this year, so that way we can try other items. Um, sometimes it's like an eight or nine, sometimes it's like a four or five. So, but, but we were not like willing to skip the soup. Yes, no, the soup is a must. I don't have. care. It's literally like I don't even know how hot. It's like 95 degrees. Yeah. Let's drink some hot soup. Mm. I don't even use a spoon for this. Well, it's funny you say that because mm -hmm. last year when I came with your sister, mm -hmm. this was her favorite item and she was like chugging it. <laughs> she loved it so much. On the way out, we were leaving. We we're about to go on the Skyliner. All of a sudden, she just runs away. She ran back to the booth got and the got soup for to go and just was <laughs> chugging Definitely it. Definitely my sister. This is a 10 for me. This is a must-get item of the fest. Well, showcase so nice, so beautiful. Ugly barges. So, more hot soup in the hot sun. This is from the Noodle Exchange, which is new this year. It's got a pickled egg. It's got some this pork. This is like ramen, right? Udon. Yeah. Man, it is hot today, too. So it has inaki mushrooms, bok choy, mm. and soy pickled egg. Thankfully, a cloud just went in front of the sun. <laughs> that looks good. We recently had our first experience with uh, novelty ramens, as I call them, um, at uh, the American Dream Food Court. We actually did a video on Fora. it. Pora. Pora. This tastes a lot like pora, although I like the pora noodles better. As far as a mass-produced option, like, I think it's really good. But I run back to get it. I mean, I still think, as far as soups go, the cheddar cheese is at the top. I give this a solid eight. I mean, look at it. All right, Sam's gonna try your hand. And it's hot. This container is hot. Mm. I like it. Can I eat the egg? Yeah. Did you have any egg? I wanted to try some of the egg. All if right, you could I'll just leave me a little. Oh, that came off part pretty easy. What would you give it? One out of ten. I like this. I gave it an eight. I would give it a seven. Just yeah. because I don't think that ramen type things are ideal for the summer yeah it might be better in for october yeah. or maybe put this inside the canada I feel like that doesn't make this sense this should have been something that opened in october <laughs> yeah or in world show place would be good too it is good though yeah australia has some interesting options actually they have uh, a grilled was... sweet and spicy bush and berry shrimp a yeah roasted lamb chop and a deconstructed pavlova yeah um but we're gonna skip it because there's other things you want to get more and we can only eat so much but yeah if you uh like a deconstructed pavlova I mean, or a lamb good. chop. The lamb chop looks really good. All right, Sam is trying her frozen drink. Which one is this? I think it's a passion fruit martini. Yeah, frozen Lucky. martini. Or, yeah. Thank you. It's really good. 
One out of ten. Nine. Oh wow, we said that loud. Nine. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I felt like being fancy like Sam. I'm not with you on the nine. Oh, I like it. It's passion fruit. Hey, you taste the passion fruit. Look at that. Six. I feel like it tastes like a frozen orange juice with a little. She's kick. more of the. I like, the and also there, like so. it's hot, so I feel like that feels mm. super refreshing right now. It is melting very quick. All right, so this escargot croissant, escargot croissant, came highly rated from uh, to us. That was actually from a cast member that we met at the front. Her name yes. was Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. She was from New York. And uh, just so you guys know, France booth probably has the longest line. Oh, always. Yeah. So try to get there early. We wait. This is the longest thing we waited for. Was this escargot croissant? It looks very good. I'm a fan of escargot. Sam said she would try it for Nikki, but it sounds like she might not try it. <laughs> Thanks for just putting me on the spot. Oh wow, you're not looking like. It's very buttery. It tastes fresh. Like you can see the escargot in it. How does escargot taste? I like escargot. It's, it's a different texture than any other type of food. Uh, I would give it a solid seven, which is above average. So, yeah, this is really good. Moment of truth, Sam. Just one bite. Oh, she got a little escargot in that. I just taste butter. Yeah, that's what I have with me. I tasted very much the butter. Okay. Yeah. Based off of this, I have no idea what escargot tastes like. Because <laughs> I just taste buttery, garlicky. The well, that's what escargot is buttery and garlicky. Oh, she's taking another bite. I don't hate it. <laughs> I told you, it's it's not bad. That's a good thing to try escargot with. If it's with. always this buttery, then I will continue to eat. Guess her is basically just cooked in butter most of the time. Right, then I've been missing out. <laughs> oh, what do you rate it? I like it. I would give it an eight. Oh, wow. You ranked it higher than I did. I gave it a seven. Wow. You're about to eat the whole thing. All right, so Tangerine Cafe says it's new for this year, although this spot has been open previously. I think it's just been closed down for a little bit. Recently reopened. Um, so I'm gonna try out the beef kebab. Maybe it's like first time they've really, it's been affiliated with Her, food and wine. It's Harissa Marinated Beef Tenderloin Tips. Mm. We took wedding pictures in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it over here. I love the tiling. Mm. You have to eat it with that little sauce. Mm. As far as the cooking process goes, this took the longest. It's very good though. It's worth the wait. Yeah, it tastes very fresh. The executive chef. How's the beef? Beef is good. It's a little chewy, but it's not like filet. Seven. Got a little couscous on there. I love couscous. Mm -hmm. I'll get a little bit of that uh, salsa too. It's on the side. I like the white sauce on it. Mm. It's really good. It's definitely above average. I mean, so far the, all the food and wine stuff. I love this. Almost everything we've had has been I like a hit with eight. Yeah, and there's been nothing below. We I also think had um, lamb and chicken kebabs. Yes. Beef. Yeah, beef uh, appealed to us more. Okay, so this is the pistachio cake with cinnamon pastry cream and candied walnuts. Well, you can see at the top is it has like a the texture tiling. of the tiles. I, lo I love that. The King of Morocco. I believe. I'm not sure if you can see the tiles. In the there are tiles. But I know the King of Morocco oversaw the construction of the Morocco Pavilion, and that tiles are all handmade in here. Fun fact: Morocco's in my top three pavilions. Yes, it's one of the reasons we got our we had our wedding pictures taken here. The problem is I can't cut this tile. So now look at it's too beautiful to cut. <laughs> I guess I'll just try the cake. Mm. Oh, this is a nice, like, shaded spot. It's not really, like, a seed too much in here, but it is nice to get out of the sun for a little bit. The tile looks nice. Doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste that good. I like the cream underneath it. Well, I feel I like it's just shape. probably just, like, plain, yeah. you know, white chocolate. Um. 
You don't love it? Six. And it's okay. It's good. Under different circumstances, but I've just eaten so much great food so far. You know? Alright. So I'm gonna give this a six. Thick tile. I mean, it looks nice, but everything but the tile. <laughs> Alright, Sam is going to try the cake. She's so taking the cinnamon my... pastries in the middle. The green. Yes. No, I liked it too. I mean, six is still good, Sam. Like five it's is like average. It's like light and airy. Yeah. It doesn't feel like too much. Definitely good for all the eating we've just produced. I'm giving it a seven. Oh wow. Yeah, you, I don't think you've given anything under a seven today. I'm in a good mood. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we've actually never eaten at the Grease uh, Pavilion, actually, no, the Grease booth before, and we got the grilled cheese. This is the picture. Does not this is how it looks. Does it look like the picture? It, looks a lot thicker than the it intrigued photo. me though. I felt like I had to get it. I do like the spana cutapita as well, but I thought it was spanakopita. Spanakopita. I don't I know. Could how to be say wrong. I don't right. know. No, I think you're probably right. Oh, it's crisp. It's crispy. That looks so it's got weird. Got some honey on it. I've never seen anything like that. Mm. All right. Um, it needs to be warmer. Although if it was warmer, I would say it'd be good. There's another, s I'm gonna give this a five uh, for the preparation. If it was warmer, it'd be very good. But yeah, no, it's a five. I'm sad for Greece. It's good though. Like it's, it just needs, it's the preparation process. I can't be nice to everything, you know? Oh. I just want to be clear, that griddled cheese probably had eight potential, <laughs> but because it wasn't warm, it didn't taste as good, but it it had a flavor I, I to it like and the cheese was the good. Same with the raclette. Yeah. When we've had that in the past, when yeah. it wasn't warm, Press, yeah, it has to it has to be warmer, but it was still good. But my experience five. All right, so Japan is the last stop on part one of our food and wine crawl opening day. Uh, so the second part is going to come out next week. Uh, but today we're dropping this on opening day. Japan's our last stop. The next video will be Mexico to the American Adventure. And Japan is one of our favorite spots. Japan is one of our favorite spots. So Let's go down on a high, high note. note. Yep. Yep. And uh, American Adventure now actually has a bistro inside the waiting area uh, in the American Adventure Pavilion for the show that's over there. So I can't wait to try that out tonight. And again, that video will be out next week. But we have gotten the lemon drop and a favorite from us last year, the chicken bun. Teriyaki chicken bun. I'm gonna try out this lemon drop first. What's in it, Sam? The lemon drop has vodka, yuzu, lemon juice, Ooh. and it's garnished with a lemon jolly. You could taste that. I used to have lemon drop shots when I was a young girl. It, it reminds me of... Um, Your youth? Not of my youth. Remember we went to Italy and we brought home the that limoncello? limoncello. It tastes a bit like limoncello. I actually like this a lot. I like it better than your frosé. I'm going to give this an eight. All right, so this the steamed bun. bun. We love steamed buns. I feel like you can't go wrong with buns. It has chicken, vegetables, and teriyaki mm. sauce. Like, I literally could just eat, like, a bunch of these and be happy. It's another top item for me. This, for me, is like a nine. That's really good. All right, Sam. All right, look at that. Oh, is it like candy? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know if you're supposed to sip it or just... I feel like it's a sipper. That's just me though. Very good. Right? Very refreshing. I would give that a nine. Yeah, that drink was like an eight mm. for me. That's, I like that better than the frozen uh, martini. The garnish was really good too. All right, teriyaki I'm, bun. I dream about this bun. <laughs> What do you give it? I gave it a nine. nine. Yeah, it's a nine. All right, so that does it for part one for us of Epcot's Food and Wine on opening day. What are your favorites, Sam? I really like the apple tart that we started with. That was very good, <laughs> but it's not my favorite thing. Uh, I like the kebab a lot. No, it's good. Pistachio cake. Yeah. Um, what is that tangerine cake? My top three items. I thought about this. Right. Cheddar cheese soup every single year. Yeah. I feel like I need to get the cheddar cheese soup. Uh, the um, what did the escargot I like? The escargot was very I good didn't as well. I know I liked escargot, but the cherry uh, teriyaki. <gasps> oh, bun. the bun, the bun, the bun, yes. The bun, uh, my favorite sweet option. Hmm, I really like the frozen apple pie. 
drink. I want to say. Oh, drink. Yes, yeah, so we didn't bring it up at the beginning, but if you're new to the festival, this uh, festival passport has all the yes. information, all the booths, all the items, yeah. all the entertainment that's going on. There's also um, like scavenger hunts. There's a ton of stuff. We, yeah. you know, we just focus on the food, so we don't waste time like going into all that. Yeah. But you can learn all about it. There's a Remy, Remy scavenger hunt as well. You guys could check out. Uh, there are a bunch of booths that aren't opening until around October time. Uh, so we'll try to throw some of the B-roll in there. I know some of them are uh, the India booth is an opening. Kenya, then. Kenya is an opening till then. Uh, so, but there are some new ones and ones we haven't tried yet. Uh, the, the noodles. The noodles one is the, the newest one we tried. Very good. I just yes. For the heat, oh, that's a top one for me too. Yeah, for the heat, I wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna try swanky swine tonight uh tonight that one. yeah we're actually gonna be crawling all the way from mexico down to the america adventure pavilion so make sure you check out that video which will be up sometime next week it won't be our usual monday and thursday at 12 p.m so what you gotta do if you're watching is please hit the subscribe button to help our channel grow hit the bell notification so you're notified next time we put out videos sam usually it's when every monday and thursday at 12 p.m yes uh but the part two of this video will not be a Monday, Thursday video. It's going to be an extra video next week. So we hope you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, we Hi, enjoyed we, eating. We met so many amazing people today, <laughs> yes, too. Yes. It was really nice chatting with everyone. Yeah, if we met you, you know, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for staying, uh, you know, for meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not awkward at all. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. We make the days count. Uh, also, please hit the, likes, uh, the like button. Oh, Thank you. He's, getting to you. He's getting to me. I think Very you're a off your game. Yeah. No retakes here. We just... <laughs> Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, Sam, I think the heat is getting to me. <laughs> but uh, it's a very nice day here at Food and Wine.